Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm trying to get in the habit of drinking some water as soon as I wake up because lately, whenever I get really busy and really stressed out, I completely neglect drinking water right away in the morning, which I used to do all the time. And I'll just have like my coffee or whatever. And then I don't drink water until like halfway through the day, which I know is so bad. So just got some water and just showered. It is 8.17, took a nice long shower, washed my hair. Haven't washed my hair since like Thursday and it's, no, Friday, I think. And it's Monday today. So um, it was one of those showers that just like felt amazing because I had to wash my hair. Anyways, um, it's Monday, February 17th, 8.18. I woke up around like 7.45, 7.30. My sleep routine the past like week has been going to bed between 1 and 2 and getting up between like 7 and 7.45 and it's honestly awful. I've just actually literally been that busy and that's like not me exaggerating and like not making good time in my day. Like no, I wake up, I get my stuff going and I'm studying all day. Take breaks to eat. I'm just doing my skincare right now. If you guys were wondering how I liked that Kopari deodorant that I bought a while back, I love it. Um, it's been, It's worked the best for me out of all um natural deodorants i've used and i haven't it hasn't like caused me to break out or anything but the one thing i like about it most is that there's like charcoal in it so it absorbs sweat really well and then also it um has like it's really soft like it's um, almost feels moisturizing and it kind of feels completely different than all the other natural deodorants that have like a really waxy feel to them almost so and i just put on some spf from glossier i love this and um yeah so I've just been really busy. I just had a podcast episode go up this morning. I literally recorded it last night at 1 a.m. And I know it sounds like poor time management, but I just saved it for last on my to-do list and I probably shouldn't have since that's something I need to be like awake and alert for. Um, but yeah, it's just been crazy. My strategic management class, which is called GBA 490, is a pain. We all have to take it. If you're in like the business school, you take it your last semester of college and it's like every business major takes it. <laughs> on top of that, I have an investments test today and I'm really worried about it. I'm having to put on a little bit of like just makeup because I just, oh, oh my gosh, I'm not well. I meant to put on some of my self tanner drops and I already put on moisturizer, but I'm literally about to put on more so that I can put on these drops. So forgive me for that but um totally messing up my skincare routine and it's so out of order right now um but yeah i'm having to put on a little bit of makeup just because i look so tired because i am so tired um so i'm just putting on this glossier stretch concealer this is like my biggest like life hack secret ever is how i like put on makeup and look like i'm wearing absolutely none um maybe not absolutely none but look like i'm wearing pretty much nothing um, especially from like afar and in videos and stuff, but I actually have things on and it makes your skin look so nice. So, um, I just use, after my skincare, I'll put on this glossy concealer underneath my eyes and on my eyelids because it just conceals all like the darkness pretty well. And it's not like a heavy concealer. It's just so hydrating and like bouncy and i just love it so much. so once that is on which i will end up being a lot more tan by the end of the day because my self tanner drops for my face are like a gradual thing so after i put on the concealer i either put on Gl glossier halo scope either wear this or the five cosmetics like little hi highlighter stick that they have and i just put some on my finger or i'll put it directly on my face if i have nothing on my face and i'm just applying this everywhere you would normally apply highlighter Actually, I'm going to put it on my face. I don't care. I'm too lazy right now. So I put this on everywhere. And then after that, the final step, it's literally a three-step makeup routine. Some kind of like highlighter stick that's like cream. Um, and then you want a really light concealer from Glossier is the one I use. And you'll tap in on the highlighter so that it's not just like drawn on your face and blend it in. Now I'm like super glowy. And then final step hourglass ambient dim light powder with a big fluffy brush and i just stick this pretty much all over my face and the thing that's so great about this powder is that it like totally gives your face like one even kind of skin tone within like underneath the powder it just makes your whole entire face glowy and doesn't make it so tacky from like um the stick highlighter it's just the perfect little finishing touch and i swear i don't know what it is about the powder but it just completely makes your skin tone so even 
like I already look completely different right now. And then sometimes I'll curl my eyelashes because they are so long from the Rodin and Fields lash paste that I've been using for like the past two months. And I use like every other night or every two nights now because they are so grown out. But literally I'll be on FaceTime with my friends and they're like, are you wearing mascara? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> It's just the Rodin Fields Lash Boost. And this is what it looks like after the fact. You guys will see it like in natural lighting later. But like right now, it's just really, I'm trying to find good lighting. Really, really like naturally glowy. Getting a sweet breakfast made for Griff and I right now. I'm just making some shredded hash browns for both of us to split. I'm going to make some egg whites for me. And I'm also about to make a smoothie. Um, I never have smoothies in the morning. But we had like a splash of almond milk left. You guys, we have no groceries at all. So I just used a last bit of almond milk, which was like this much. And then filled the rest up with water. I'm just going to blend this up. It's basically frozen strawberries, frozen raspberries, and frozen mango. Um, so really nothing but fruit in it. And I don't even know if it's going to blend because there's like nothing in it. I, this is like my go-to business casual sweater because it's just so comfy. Um, it's from Nasty Gal and I just like love the sleeves on it. But it might be a little bit too warm to wear out right now because it's 176 and it's overcast and maybe not. But I'm just wearing a Nasty Gal sweater, Target belt, Express jeans, and then I've got on a little abound mules. Belt that to campus and I'm going to go to the Starbucks um, in the Ferg, which is like our student center. We have a few Starbucks on campus, but I never go to this one. Like, I haven't been to this one since I was, like, a sophomore, I want to say. Um, just because I'm never by it. I'm never by the Ferg. But that's where my friend wants to meet to go over stuff for the test. But I've just been sitting here um, reviewing the conceptual stuff for the test so that when, I'm, when I meet with her, I can just go over all of the computational problems and everything like that. What's up, you guys? I have not vlogged in a hot minute. <laughs> Literally since five hours ago maybe six hours ago I just got out of my test and I think it went really well I'm like shocked I just think that he like thank god I was like just hoping I was like please do not put like the hardest questions on there but it was everything like I felt like I knew how to do really well and I wasn't stuck and we have like a 20 point bonus question and I think I got all of that right so hopefully that will compensate for whatever I missed on multiple choice because there were 10 multiple choice questions and I think I did not get over half of them right maybe because I was just like so focused on the math part that I didn't know a lot of the oh multiple God. choice. Um, oh my gosh, I feel so good for that to be done and all my GBA assignments to be done except for my quiz and my test. But my test, I found out today, it's not like multiple choice and I don't need to like read the chapters for it or anything. It's more like application based, based off of the assignments we've been doing. So I should be able to just knock it out and it's open notes. So I'm like 10 times less stressed than I was this morning because I was thinking I'd have to get home and study for that. So for the rest of my day, what's left on my to-do list, I really, really, really wanted to go to the gym. And I still might, but I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm trying to like get into like eating healthy whole foods because whenever I go through phases where I have tests and stuff, I just eat um, a lot of food out and I try to eat healthy when I go out, but that's obviously not always possible. And then um, whenever I'm at home, I like if it's a test week, I tend to buy like more processed snacks and stuff the week um, before tests and stuff like naturally because I'm like I need quick stuff um, at home you know so I'm gonna try and get some more like whole healthy foods and everything because I just have been feeling so blessed lately and it's primarily probably from being dehydrated and not getting enough sleep but I know the diet affects it too so I really hope that test went well because I will not feel well if I have two really bad grades right now because my 471 test going poorly so all I have left to do today is go to the gym if I have time for that grocery store and read my corporate tax and then take some notes on it. Okay guys, I just got home from the grocery store. This is only some of what I got. The rest of it's over there. But it was a very extensive trip because I had to restock on a lot of stuff. Um, I had to get some like garbage bags. I had to get more flour and granola, you know, stuff like that. But I'm just going to run through what I got real quick. I stopped showing grocery hauls on my channel for a while because I felt like I'd always get comments about what I was eating. And I was like, literally, let me live. Um, and it didn't happen, like, all the time. But, like, I felt like it started happening more frequently where people were like, oh, my gosh, it's so processed. Why do you call that healthy when I wouldn't even say anything about it being healthy? And I've told you guys a million times that, you know, I just try to eat balanced. But anyways... <laughs> I got a lot of fruit this week, berries, raspberries, blackberries. I got some sweets, peppers, mainly yellow ones. I love those sweet yellow peppers dipped in some kind of hummus. 
And this hummus was on sale and I've had it before. Um, just the sea salt and olive oil. I got this Tessame's organic lemon garlic dressing and marinade for um, like vegetables. Like I got some green beans and stuff and I thought it would just be really good with that. And I had a coupon on Target Cartwheel for that. I also just recently got a Target debit red card. So it's not like a credit card or anything. It just takes from like my checking account. It isn't in the mail yet, but I did apply for one because I was like, oh my gosh, I buy so much from Target, like household, clothes, groceries, all of the above. And I just, I can't believe I haven't gotten one yet. So got some cuties. I got two onions, bananas, gluten-free flour. This is um, for the buffalo cauliflower I want to make tonight, as well as banana bread when I make it. Four Honeycrisp apples, um, original earth balance butter. It's vegan butter. Not that it matters. I'm not vegan, obviously. Um, four lemons. I love these whenever I don't have a lot of time for lunch, like if I go to the gym and then come home and only have like an hour between um, getting home from the gym and class. So this one looked good. I think it's new. It's the shredded potatoes and sweet potatoes um, with broccoli and cauliflower florets and Griffin and I both like love these and these are groceries for both of us. So we split it right down the middle, but I just do the grocery shopping. I got the chicken flavored rice and some corn for turkey tacos. I got some... Um, chopped up sweet potatoes because cutting up sweet potatoes takes forever and I don't have time for that. Um, some frozen pineapple ch chunks. I really want to copy a smoothie that I love from the juice bar. It's pineapple, apple juice, I think lemon maybe, coconut milk, and um, spinach and kale I want to say. But I don't have the apple juice. I think I'll just like cut up some of an apple and throw it in with the smoothie. Um, so that's kind of like why I got those and I think that you could replace the pineapple with any other like yellow, like, like a mango maybe or um even strawberries and it would still probably be good um i got some green beans back here i think that's everything right there yeah asparagus two of the toasted coconut vanilla greek yogurts i do really like these like as a snack during the day or for part of breakfast i got this good and gather vanilla creamy almond butter i haven't had almond butter in a long time and i thought this would be like a good like slightly sweet and salty um thing i could have with like pretzels or a rice cake um, if I'm craving something sweet, we ran out of peanut butter. These are really good snacks for in between my classes. They sell these at like the little Starbucks we have um, in the business school. And I just really, really like them. Like they time me over for class perfectly. And then I got some more cacao nibs because I was out. Um, so mad Target got rid of my granola still. This is the chocolate sea salt purely Elizabeth granola. I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried any of their granola before. Some 90 second jasmine rice. I got some garlic and olive oil quinoa. I'm excited to try this. I might eat quinoa in forever. Multigrain scoops because I love having those for whenever I like get a chips and salsa craving. These are for Griffin, the boom and berry um, bagels. Uh, some tortillas for turkey tacos. More bread. I love the Dave's bread, white bread done right. So good. And then um, cinnamon toast rice cake. This is the green mix I got for the smoothies. It's I'll just freeze it if I don't go through all this like within the week which is a possibility. I'm sure I'll probably only have like two of these a week, but the smoothies are really expensive at Juice Bar, so I just wanted to make them myself. But this has this has spinach, mizuna, chard, and kale. Got some eggs, unsweetened vanilla, almond milk, um, so delicious, organic coconut, unsweetened vanilla, coconut milk. And then for meat, I got these petite sirloin steaks. Griff and I have been making these in the air fryer, and they are phenomenal, you guys, and I don't even eat steak normally. But we like to have it every now and then to mix up the usual chicken. And then I got two packs of chicken and then some ground turkey. And that's everything I got from the grocery store. I don't think I showed you guys, but Griff got me these beautiful flowers on Valentine's Day. And I'm so mad because, like, pretty much almost all of them are dying. or like, starting to die. Um, and it's really frustrating because it's literally Monday and he got them Friday. Like, he got them on Valentine's Day. And it's so weird because, like, things, like, rot in our kitchen really, really fast. And I was wondering whenever I put these out, I was like... I wonder if these are gonna like die a lot faster being in the kitchen and I probably should have put them elsewhere. Okay, Griffin's out of class, so I'm gonna go meet him at the gym even though it is literally so late, you guys, 6.40. And I can't believe I'm doing this when I literally have to be up in like 12 hours, but I'm gonna eat this Power Crunch bar real quick as my snack and drink some water. And hopefully this will be enough to tie me over until dinner later um, and we'll be good for, I guess, um, working out. And I think I'm gonna do a shoulders and chest today. All right, I'm about to leave. Um, I'm just I'm wearing a Fabletic set. This is um, a Poppy sports bra, I believe, but it's like double layer and it's extremely stretchy, which I love for upper body days. And then I don't remember the name of the leggings, but they are power holds. Um, but they're really cute. They've just got like the purple stripe down the side, my ultra boost, and then 
this little pullover from Fat Bikes. It's not that uh, warm outside or cold outside, so I'm just wearing this. Um, I've got my Awani new BCA and sour gummy. I'm taking my Fat Bikes fat pack, and then I don't know if I'm gonna drink this or not yet. I'm taking it with me. It's basically like an energy drink, so I don't know if I want to drink it right now. Okay guys, I'm home from the gym and I had a great workout. I burned like around like 280 calories in like 40 minutes, which is okay. <laughs> um, but it was so crowded in the gym, I will not be going at that time again. But I do feel so much better now that I worked out. Like I just feel a lot less like tension in my body and a lot less stress. Um, I'm doing like a lemon pepper garlic chicken situation. And then I'm gonna make this butternut squash ravioli from Trader Joe's just because it's in the fridge and it's going bad um, on the 24th. So I just want to go ahead and make it before it goes to waste. But that's that. And then I'm also going to make like half or three quarters of this bag of um, green beans. But I'm going to do everything in the air fryer um, and just stick these in in like the last bit of the air fryer. I wanted to use this um, sauce that I got today. The testing mate test. I don't know how you say it. Whatever. The lemon garlic. Um sauce that I got from tar Target because I feel like this goes perfect with what I'm making and I can use less butter and use this instead. Always have like a video playing or listening to a podcast when I cook because I don't really have much time to watch videos anymore. Um, so if I want to watch videos, I have to like do it when I'm cooking or folding laundry or cleaning or something. And I am a little bit pink in the face because- Chicken is cooking. I'm watching Katie while I cook. I miss her so much, but she seriously looks so happy in her videos and just knowing her personally, I can tell that she's like really thriving in Germany. Um, emo moments. Miss you, Katie. And for my green beans, I just squeezed, um, about a quarter of a lemon over the green beans and then I sprayed some Trader Joe's coconut oil spray, like not a lot at all, like literally just enough to, I mean, like a quick little second squirt. And then I sprinkled some garlic over it and then some garlic salt and then kind of tossed it with my hands. And I'm gonna pour these over um, the chicken in like the last like six to eight minutes or so. Oh, and I also made some lemon water with the rest of the lemon I had from dinner. So I also just added some of this Rao's homemade roasted garlic sauce in the microwave to put on the ravioli. Everything's wrapping up right now, but just wanted to show you guys that. Watching Brooke and she is making me want to go back to New York, like right now. Here is the finished product. It looks so freaking yummy. I cannot wait to eat. Alright guys, it's 9.30, so typically whenever it's the night before my um, 8 a.m., I like to be like in bed going to sleep at like 11, 11.30, but lately that's not been the case, um, as you guys know, but I we actually weren't given like a specific reading assignment last Thursday for uh, corporate tax, so, but typically we have to read like the first 12 or so pages, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna take notes on each section once I finish reading the section. I don't like taking notes as I go when I read because I feel like I and I don't get like the picture of what it's trying to say, like the big picture. And it's really important to understand the big picture in tax. If I'm constantly like going from reading to writing, reading to writing, so I'm just gonna read um, once I finish the section. I'll take a few notes. I'm gonna do this, and then I literally have mountains and mountains and mountains of laundry to fold, like I said. And I really want to get to that tonight because I like having to find socks in the morning and stuff has been such a pain. So I'll get to that afterwards. But dinner was so good. I'll probably have um, some of my Lily sea salt dark chocolate um, in a little bit. I love having like just like a few squares of that um, at night. I don't do it every night, but I always have like a bar in my fridge and it's the best thing ever. Okay, so I just actually made some overnight oats for the morning. Um, I normally use mason jars, but I don't know where ours are, so I'm just using a regular jar right now. But I did half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and then half a cup of Quaker oats. I did about a tablespoon of this vanilla creamy almond butter, and then I did about a teaspoon of this organic blue agave and stirred it all up. In the morning, I'm going to put some probably blueberries in there, um, just because that's an easy fruit. I don't have to like, cut it up or anything since I have my 8 a.m. I just want it to be really quick. And then I'll throw some cacao nibs and cinnamon on top, and it's going to be so good. Okay, guys, I've been in my room folding laundry 
for like the past hour and like straightening up. I straightened up the living room. Griffin's been like cleaning up the kitchen and then dinner mess and doing dishes. And I just folded like two and a half, three weeks worth of laundry, which was insane. Do not recommend. Um, Griffin's just been like doing laundry on laundry. Um, he's been like keeping up with his cycles and everything. And I'm like, wait, I haven't folded last times yet. So there was just, there was like so many towels, like literally everything. And I had so much to hang up because whenever I like try stuff on and like I think I'm gonna wear it and then I don't wear it, I just like pretty much throw it somewhere. Like I had a lot to hang up, but I just finished doing all of that and it's actually thunderstorming right now, which is amazing because I love going to sleep with that kind of weather. Some YouTube videos playing. It's midnight right now. I'm about to hop in the shower since I went, went to the gym and my hair looks really bad. <laughs> um, so I am going to get it wet, but I'm not going to wash it since I washed it this morning. But I'm just going to wet it so that I can put product in it and sleep on it so that it will look good tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up too if you enjoyed it. And I know this was like a weirder vlog. Um, I feel like I didn't vlog very much because of studying for my test and everything. But hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. I will see you guys next time. Bye.